How many different charging standards exist? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. If it comes down to variables, to headsets, phones, and you name it, in the future, at least in the European Union, there's only one, the USB-C. De facto, USB-C is already the standard. Apple, however, refuses to accept the standard, quoting that following such a forced situation would reduce innovation and therefore hinder companies to be competitive and innovative. So Apple's sole position of following the lightning is now in a certain way known in the European Union as the anti-Apple law. And at the end of the day, we will see if the anti-Apple law will pass. Because right now, the experts within the European Parliament voted on that, but it's expected that the final vote for that in the Parliament in May will pass with flying numbers. The overall idea to reduce waste is probably good. 11,000 to 13,000 tons of waste is only the weight of wires being used, sold, and imported into the European Union every year. So this could be cut down because all those wires are interchangeable. How many wires do you have in your own household waiting for a second life because the charging standards changed? So overall, I see it's a good idea. But what's the deal with Apple's claim that this will stop innovation? I don't believe it'll stop innovation. It will, however, create a certain competition about the companies who have the most innovative product. Because USB-C is not the end of the world. And I can see more innovative charging systems, maybe contactless chargings and whatever it is. So the future will be bright for innovation. However, it will then be up to the company to convince others to follow their standard. And now that's a real quest for innovation here.